When we play a three chord blues, uh, pretty simple, remembering that the seven, that is the flatted seven, we call them seven, is uh, sort of integral to the sound of that. So here I have a G, right? This G, and here's that G7. Oh, that sounds nice, right? So the difference here is between the one and the seven. It's a whole step down. G7. I'm going to do the same thing with a C and a C7. Here's a C, and here's a C7. Seven, seven, one, right? And then back to the uh, G chord again. Uh, and then f uh, I would go to the D. So here's a D, a D7. That's nice. It's a, sort of a chromatic descent down from the D, bum, 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 just down to the C. So it's a whole step two half steps down to the C7, and then back to the G again. So the form typically goes, if you think about one, four, and five, so in the key of G, one is the G, two, three, four is the C, and five is the D, pretty simple. One, two, three, four, five, so G, A, B, C, four, and D5, right? So those chords would be, if we added sevens to them, it would be a G7 to a C7, back to the G7 again. Now C7, C7, and back to G7 again. Now D7, back to C7, and G7 again. Now you can use the, uh, the, uh, the D7 as a turnaround, but we don't need that for right now. What we're interested though is playing the, um, playing the chord tones from those and, and some scale notes too. So I could play one, two, three, four, five, six, flat seven, one, and that works really nicely over the top of the G. G, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. F being the flat seven, F sharp being the actual seven for the key of G. But since we're playing a G7, we're going to use that flat at seven. Bum, 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 Nice, it sounds pretty, right? Bum, 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 now we're going to do exactly the same thing for the four chord, which is a C. C7, right? C, D, E, F, G, A, B flat to a C, B flat being the flat is seven, of course B being the seven for the C, but B flat is the one we're interested in because it got that kind of a cool uh, blues sound to it. So, uh, so then the scale uh, notes would be a C, D, E, F, G, A, B flat, C, and then back to a G again. G, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. We're going to do exactly the same thing for the D. Here's a D7. So D, uh, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, instead of a C sharp and D. So C is going to be our 7. And if you look, look at my left hand, it's, it's, it's like the same pattern. So wherever my, uh, my second finger starts, one, two, three, four, five, six, flat seven, and one, just through those uh, combination of four, uh, four frets, and then down to the five, that would be, so well, first off, I'm starting at the, uh, the D, uh, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, and C, back to D again, bum, 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 bum. Now we're gonna do the same thing for the C, C, D, E, F, uh, C, D, E, F, G, A, B flat, and C, and the shapes are uh, very much the same, bum, 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 bum. the same uh, shapes on the five, four, uh, three, and two strings, and we go down to the uh, one chord again, that's our G, our G7, and it's kind of the same thing, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, because F is the seven for the G, while, seven, flat seven for the G, while F sharp is the actual seven for the G, and here's the root, ba 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 like so. So have some fun with that. That's just uh, one, four, and five starting in G. That's G7, uh, C7, and D7. And it's a great. Uh, this is what you might call uh, 12 bar, 12 bar blues here because of the way that the pattern goes, one, four, and five. A lot of fun. Not too difficult to get uh, under your hand. So enjoy.